many adults, seeing bullying is just another sign of being a kid, but it has a negative effect on the victims that can include suicide. The statistics on bullying and suicide are alarming. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among young people, resulting in about 4,400 deaths per year, according to the CDC. For every suicide among young people, there are at least 100 suicide attempts. Over 14% of high school students have considered suicide, and almost 7% have attempted it. Bully victims are between two to nine times more likely to consider suicide than non-victims, according to studies by Yale University. A study in Britain found that at least half of suicides among young people are related to bullying. 10 to 14 year old girls may be at even higher risk for suicide, according to the study above. According to the statistics reported by ABC News, nearly 30% of students are either bullies or victims of bullying, and 160,000 kids stay home from school every day because of fear of bullying. Bully-related suicide can be connected to any type of bullying, including physical bullying, emotional bullying, cyberbullying, and sexting, or circulating suggestive or new photos or messages about a person. Some schools or regions have more serious problems with bullying and suicide related to bullying. This may be due to an excessive problem with bullying at the school. Bullying and suicide is not something to joke about. It is not something to take lightly. It is something that is a serious problem in our generation and it needs to be fixed. If you see someone that is struggling with bullying or suicide, suicidal thoughts, please talk to them. Try and get them help. There is a number that you can call. 1-800-273-TALK. Again, the number is 1-800-273-8255.